Okay, this is me taking out my first stitch after stage 14 of Volta España out of my knee, so it's a bit weird, but it's been irritating me, so I at least have to take out one. My wife's going to be pretty upset, but... Okay, so I think it's safe to say uh, we've got a slight problem here. Um, this is definitely caught off of God. Because the only thing we were looking at is whether the washing machine was going to fit into the corner right there. Never that we ever think it wouldn't fucking fit through the door. I'm Billy Smith. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And enjoy today with us because it's been a hard one. I think back to all the better days when I used to be young and free. I remember her like it was yesterday She was so beautiful to me In my mind sometimes I'll run away things going okay all good most important time of the day coffee time woke up late this morning it's exactly 9 51 good morning how are you all good did you sleep well yeah do you want coffee yes oh. first uh, it's a bit of coffee time and I'm gonna show you some South African coffee if you're interested in that uh, it's pretty strong Monday's Hello, Mandy Smith. So when I'm away, she's also got someone to hold. Our new fridge uh, is quite big, so as you can see, the people that brought it uh, obviously had their work cut out, bringing it out four stairs because it did not fit in the elevator. Let's show them how long I am. Now you know why it didn't fit in the elevator. <laughs> okay, so imported all the way from South Africa. Um, it's actually in the region where me and Mandy lived um, when she was working there and I was training there. Bobby Valley coffee. Smells absolutely amazing and I'm gonna make some of that for us this morning. So let's talk a little bit about yesterday. So yesterday I met up with my lawyer and also training partner Jan and Dora Julio and we went for a ride the flattest that we could find out the border through La Seu, a small circuit and all the way back and just for interest sake uh, I shot the footage on bike in 4k but normally um, I'm a run and gun amateur vlogger youtuber and trying to shoot in 4k and getting that good image quality uh, is just not worth it all the time um, it's really a lot of data um, you need a lot of storage and it's a mission to edit on your computer because you need to create proxy files um, which takes really really a long time and wouldn't make it worth making all these vlogs but you'll see how the footage looks if you were interested
Okay, winter is starting. It's the first morning in Andorra that was really cold, but it's much hotter right now. Training partner, Julio. Yep. The only thing I like, the only thing I like about his 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 clothes is his socks. The socks? Yeah. The socks is really nice. Yeah. Not bad. Not no, bad. Allowed to ride with the bicycle here or no, not? Possible, uh, the police don't like. Yeah. But if you say you go to the coffee shop, they they, uh, they have a problem. And then afterwards, we went for the local coffee shop. So although Starbucks is not a local coffee shop, um, we are guaranteed good coffee. And by the way, Spain is not best known for really good coffee, but it is a little bit better in Andorra and. Um, Andorra has quite some diversity so there are some um, quite original coffee shops but Starbucks just happened to be the easiest on this day and we stopped there. Uh, plus uh, if you're really iffy about your coffee uh, or you have got some lactose intolerance or something you can always try out the oat milk, soy milk and what's the other milk monday coconut. and coconut milk if you want that in your coffee um, with a bit of sugar it doesn't taste that bad if you are someone that likes your coffee sweet so monday how did our coffee date go is it much of a coffee date how's our home renovations going oh, we're having progress we have a fridge and we have wi-fi Still sorting out the washing machine though. But I need to get this bike in this car, but there's a small problem. The washing machine we bought for our house is a little bit too heavy. So you can see 66 kilos, so I'm gonna need to find a friend to help carry me because Monday's not gonna be able to help. I think. <laughs> All cyclists or people that are dating cyclists or married to cyclists should know this is that they've got a ton of washing to be done. And one of the biggest priorities um, just under our fridge, because obviously if we need to keep the food cold so it doesn't go off and you get sick. Um, is getting a washing machine and we bought one but unfortunately it didn't fit as well as we wanted it to but luckily after taking off the door and pushing in the, the, the function button it just managed to slip by and we were able to get our washing machine into our new home and into the bathroom. Yeah we didn't take any measurements before buying it so not very smart from our side at all. Okay. And finally, we're on our way home. Time for some lunch. I actually did some training today. It's almost the end of my season with only three races left. And what will we be talking about today? Can I see you guys in Trulli again? So here we are at our home on the right hand side. Okay, so wish us good luck trying to get that dishwasher which is almost 70 kilograms up into our house. I think it's going to be pretty difficult. It's about doubles, double Monday's weight. <laughs> and exactly my weight. <laughs> So, is this going to fit? Through the door? I don't know. Uh, it fits through the left. Oh, okay. 
Monday done her research and tell us the truth. We oh. might we might make it. In fact, I can use the pass made it dear middle and then. Oh, there goes our bathroom door. All for now. Anyways, on to some cycling news finally. So I hope you enjoyed the, the last vlog. Um, so today's gonna be a little bit short and boring, but at least it's better than nothing. And on another point, look at the professionalism of this junior rider from Italy, not throwing a tantrum like most grown men would have done. Check it out. And then just look at this kid being as cool as a cucumber um, from Italy. Um, yeah, I mean, most people would have thrown a hissy fit. It was just very cool. Uh, probably think his chain might have broke or something. And I think that's truly very professional. And he actually won, if you're interested. Uh, you must have seen it, but one of the most hilarious things that I've seen, uh, I saw another thing about it on Twitter is the UCI sock sock high pro um, I'm gonna make a vlog about that um, separately um, so I can explain it better I've got more time to show you some examples uh, yeah they did check me in Tour of Switzerland and Walter and it was like probably two centimeters too long that for the shoe cover whatever I don't think so will make a difference anyway. And finally, um, the plaster is off. My knee seems to be fine. There's no infection. And if yes, for the same, if you're a bit of a sensitive viewer, this next section might not be for you. This is a video of me taking out my first stitch. Uh, Please don't try this at home. Don't try it at home. Okay, this is me taking out my first stitch after stage 14 of Volta Spagna out of my knee, so it's a bit weird, but it's been irritating me, so I at least have to take out one. My wife's going to be pretty upset, but... Whoa. You can see... See it coming out. So you might laugh at me, but I'm gonna keep these stitches as a. I think I'm gonna keep these stitches as a souvenir. The knots actually grew into the skin, so you had to like really pull hard on them and then cut them because <laughs> they're like really deep in the knee. So I don't know. I wanted to do it alone because if a doctor had to do it, they would have probably just hurt you. So at least I was hurting myself much easier than someone else hurting you. And talking about bike saves, obviously you must have seen uh, me almost crashing in one corner on stage 12 of Vuelta Espana, but luckily kept it up. Keep an eye on his rivals. The downhills too can prove difficult in this part of the world. Here's Smith coming very close to getting it wrong. But I'm fortunately crashed on this, on a, after the next climb on a descent, trying to get back to a group. Um, but yeah, look at this save, this uh, was truly special. And then talking about very good save, just look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Um, incredibly. Not sure why the hands were put back onto the drops right there in that wet conditions. Obviously trying to save a few crucial seconds. Um, but yeah, very, very good save. I'm going to end off the vlog with that. So thanks for joining today and all the best, your boy, Valise Murphy and
woman behind the scenes, Mandy Smith. Yes, sir. Good luck, Samir. Cheers, guys.